Hello and welcome to The Mining Show, brought to you by Blythe Way on Core London. I'm Charlie Gibson. Now, as we all know, uh, the share prices of mining companies can be quite sensitive to, among other things, milestones. And uh, one such company, which we think is hitting just such a milestone, is Georgian Mining. And joining me now is their chief executive, Mike Struthers. Mike, very good morning to you. Thank you very much indeed for Thanks, joining Charlie. us. Good to be um, here. You put an RNS out yesterday saying mm -hmm. you'd met with the Minister for the Economy and in and the environment? Uh, um, Minister of Economy and Sustainable Development. Development, okay, yeah. so close-ish. And go on, yep. tell, tell us the substance of that meeting. Well, as you can imagine, we've been trying to arrange a meeting with the Minister for, for some time. Um, uh, he, as I've indicated though recently, he's, he's only just got into his role uh, full-time. It's only a couple of weeks ago. Um, so yeah, I was very pleased to get the chance to finally meet him last Friday. and. Uh, we had almost an hour and a half together on Friday evening. It was very good. And can you tell us tell us what you discussed? <laughs> Absolutely. So I suppose aside from just introducing the company, uh, obviously we wanted to discuss our, our pending application for this permit uh, approval. Um, so after introductions and uh, you know what, what was the formation of the JV, how did it all start, um, I spent quite a bit of time explaining the work that we'd been doing up to that point. Um, I mean, the JV started in 2015, so, you know, quite a lot of work has been done. The discovery we had at KB East, you know, so we, we covered a lot of that. He's quite interested and he asked a lot of technical questions, although he's not a minor, of course. Right. Um, and, of course, the work program going forward. What, you know, what are we planning to do? Um, we also, we got on to, we touched on other sort of broader topics like uh, the role of junior companies in, you know, de-risking in new jurisdictions and, and obviously also the, the government's uh, intentions uh, to expand that sector. Um, you know, they've got some quite ambitious plans, so we, we got into that as well. So he's a man who's much better informed now than, than he was before well, your I meeting. Well, I hope so. I hope so, yeah. And he comes, from a, you know, he comes from a commercial and business background. He had a long career with, with McKinsey's before this role. So, so he's, he's, yeah, he's, he's well tuned to you know, business. You're <laughs> waiting for approvals, mining mm. approvals. Mm -hmm. So what do we think the status of those is? Well, How so, have they changed since your meeting? Well, so the application that we have in is to uh, exp extend the exploration permit. And uh, although, uh, and I recall the last time we, we chatted, it, uh, although it's called exploration permits, it effectively is allowing us to do any, uh, any drilling or any field work. Um, so our more advanced project is going into infill programs and feasibility studies you know, in this next phase. Um, but of course, we've also got other exploration, true exploration activity in the wider license area. Um, some of that is you know, verification of old historical data and target testing and things like that. So, um, but our, you know, our core focus is obviously to advance this lead project, KB East, as we call it, um, and get that through to feasibility studies. So that's all part of the same program. But because it involves drilling and field work, right. then we need that permit extension. So. so that means you can't do anything until you get the permit extension? Or? Field, field work, right? So any, You're any, restricted on field work? Yes, yeah. any, any field activities. The team over there has continued to be very busy. We put an RNS, RNS out a while ago about, about the KB East project and what it was starting to look like. You know, they've been doing a lot of pit optimizations and layups of surface facilities and all those sorts of things. So. And that work is ongoing. That's still going really well. I'm very happy with that. So, um, so do, we have, do we have any indication as to when these approvals might come through, do you think? Well, uh, obviously guess? it's out of my hands, yeah. so I can't give a date. But uh, um, I certainly expressed the urgency from our point of view, and he, he certainly understood that, to get this approval you know, out, uh, completed and allow us to get moving. Um, uh, he, he certainly indicated that, I mean, there's a need to engage with the Prime Minister, there's some government, uh, a step, if you like, as a part of the process. Um, the Prime Minister is away this week, and he was, he was looking at his diary when we were talking, right. and say, well, he's away this week and I can't do anything, but he's back next week. So I'm, and I know that the mining agency, which is a part of that ministry, with whom we interact the most, um, I know they've got a meeting with the, with the Minister again early next week, so... I'm optimistic we'll get some news very soon. Is it just a case that they have a conversation, they both agree, great, tick, tick, uh, here's your application? Effectively, or yes. I mean, the, 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 the first, the critical uh, sort of approval we need is the minister's endorsement right. of, of the application. 
And then there's a bureaucratic process that follows, which is that uh, there's a government resolution that has to go to a couple of other departments. Um, finance, for example. Do we know how long that takes? It usually be? takes 10 days to two weeks to right. complete the whole thing. But I, um, it's the, ministers, the Minister of Economy, his endorsement of the application, which is critical. And that's who you met? Yes, yes. that's who we met, yeah. And, and I, um, I must admit, I, uh, it, was a very, it was a very positive conversation. He certainly appreciates the efforts that we've been putting into Georgia, and he knows we've made a good quality application. Um, of course, he's also new to the role, and he's new to the mining agency, who you know now report to him. So, um, you know, he's still he's still settling into that. But he he certainly got the message that, you know, it's a critical time, a critical application for us to allow us to get moving. Um, and as I say, without you know, without giving a date, he was clearly committed to trying to resolve this very soon for us. So, so a best case scenario is you could get your approvals. In about four weeks. That's full three, 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 full three, approval? Three, three, yes, yes. Three, four weeks would be the sort of, you know. Full approval, yeah. But, uh, you know, I say the, the, the key milestone for us, and I, I'll, you know, when we get that, I will, of course, make an announcement mm -hmm. as well, is that his, his endorsement of the application is, is a critical part of that process. So, um, you know, I'll advise, I'll advise our shareholders when we've got that. And the feeling was from your meeting is, is mm. that he looked favourably with oh, that very much so. yeah, yeah. on very the application. Much so. Yeah, and I've had some exchanges with him since by email and uh, that's all quite positive. Yeah. If I were to look at it from the other perspective and say, <coughs> look at the prospect that you're exploring on mm -hmm. and, and, where you're and, and where you're applying for the extension, yep. is there anything particularly environmentally sensitive about it? Any no. unusual tree frogs? or? No, 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 no. We've, uh, we've been through all of that and, I mean, actually last, last Friday I also had a meeting with the Deputy Minister of Environment, um, and that was a very positive meeting. And uh, we had a lot of common ground, actually, a lot of discussion around responsible mining and those sorts of concepts, and you know the the need to uh, adhere or apply international standards and all that. So they're very, they're certainly moving. Legislation there is moving more towards European Union standards, you know, and other international codes. So that was a very positive meeting as well. But no, for 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 our activities, it's basically, as I say, exploration and study work. Um, there are no there are no environmental issues and you know other lower level permits like forestry permits and what have you are, are, are fine. So, is there any important seasonality? Once once you get the approvals, can you go straight through into exploration, or mm. are you about to be dumped on by twenty feet of snow? No, snack? actually, the, no. It's it's quite a it's quite a um, uh, how can I say forgiving sort of climate. It, um, you know that you there are, can be issues around moving rigs around and things, but basically we don't get heavy snow. It gets cold, but not not Siberian cold, you know, so it's sort of around zero, minus five, but not the minus 20s or something as aggressive as that. So, no, it actually, the, the season... So you can, you can drill all the throughout the winter? The season continues. We can go through winter, yeah, yeah, with only minor interference. Yeah. So what timelines are you, are you looking at now, do you think? If I, not, not so much the short-term ones, <coughs> but the medium and the long-term ones, how do you get KB East, your, your lead project, mm. from here to producing gold? So, as I say, we, we've got an agreed six-month work program with our partners, and uh, so you know, this is a 50-50 JV, um, and that will see us through to the feasibility study. Then, obviously, there's a go-no-go no go decision between the partners on, on that particular project. The initial focus of that is on the gold oxides, uh, but there is a large copper gold sulfide body below, but that will that'll come along and behind. Mm -hmm. you know, the develop that requires more drilling and... That'll be a sort of progressive development. So the focus of the feasibility study is on the gold oxides, um, but taking account of the, the footprint of the sulphides and the, you know, the future layout so we don't do something silly like put a waste dump on an ore body or things like yes, that. Yes, <laughs> something like that. Well, you'll know <laughs> where the ore body is. No, 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 because <laughs> as soon as you put your waste dump or your plant somewhere, that's almost that's certainly usually the, be that's the best usually focus the best for the exploration <laughs> programme. So, Indeed um, it is. So, so sorry, so the feasibility study... In six months' time, uh, I think it'll drift slightly beyond that. Uh, depends how the drilling goes and what follows. The drilling is uh, metallurgical test work. Mm -hmm. We need to do more leach test work on the gold oxides, that sort of thing, and some more on the sulphide. So, uh, middle of next year. I, yeah, well, obviously that Ish. depends when we start. Yeah, <laughs> um, but I think the feasibility study. If we have a six-month program now, it's probably going to drift to about seven months or eight months because we've got a couple of months of drilling up front. It's a relatively short time for, for a feasibility study, of course, but it, the footprint and the, the, the layout at, at KB East is very simple. Mm -hmm. It's basically a, a pit and a couple of a waste dump and a low-grade stockpile and a road that connects to 
the partner's leaching facility. So um, a very simple arrangement outside. Mm -hmm. We'll be doing an EIA in parallel with the feasibility study, of course. So um, you know, and they'll 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 run together, and then we'll complete the EIA. Uh, we're not obliged to do that locally, but we'll do it anyway, of course. So, so working on this sort of <coughs> timeline, feasibility study, EIA, sort of roughly the middle of next year, give mm. or take, we understand there's a bit of latitude, sure. it's not entirely within your control. Final investment decision, assuming it's a positive study, final investment decision shortly thereafter. Very shortly, yeah. Finance, shortly after that. Mm -hmm. Begin construction late next year, late 19? Uh, I would hope to do it earlier than that. And the construction is very simple. As I say, it's just basically a road um, and a couple of dumps. So very simple facilities at mm -hmm. the site. So I think, you know, if, if everything third goes quarter? according to plan, then third quarter, I think we'd be, in, we'd, we'd be engaged in the construction. Yeah. One year's construction time, two years, one and a half? No, no, one, much, much Nine less. months. Oh, uh, no, much less than that. I'd just say it's, it's the building a road, which is only about 10 kilometres long, um, and uh, a, a couple of dumps, so six months tops, probably a bit less. Six months, so we could be looking at end of first quarter 2020 for first conceivably, production? It, conceivably, that, that sort of order yeah, of magnitude. Yeah. Yeah. That sort of order rather than you know, 21 or 22 or something yeah. like that. Right? Yeah. It's Thank a much simpler project. One final question I must mm. ask you. I, I read a, a very good book on the Great Game, uh, which sort of drifted into the Caucasus. Oh, yeah. And, and it implied, or I think it stated actually, <coughs> that it was a pretty complicated place to do business. Now, obviously, the sort of business they were talking about was diplomatic business mm. 150 years ago. Mm. But So what I'd like to ask you is, how do you find doing business there? It's actually very good. I think it's it's one of the much it's one of the better addresses in. If you look at the Tethian Belt as a whole, obviously that, that crosses a lot of countries in that region. I think Georgia is one of the better addresses to have there. It's generally, you know, the, the the government and the legislation is moving more towards international European standards. Obviously, they have their eyes on Europe. Um, you know, the the support we get generally at government level is very good. Um, the, the infrastructure and the facilities there are, are generally good. Um, and I think, you know, it, confidence, security of tenure and those sorts of issues are, um, are, are in pretty good shape. So it's interesting, I mean, the government is clearly committed to expanding the sector. So um, one of the initiatives is there's a review of the mining code going on at the moment. Um, it's being run by the EBRD. Uh, and I know that they're, I think they're due to report by the end of the year. So that'll, that's the first step in trying to bring the mining code up to, you know, more, more common sort of international standards. And then there'll be the sort of legislative steps that follow next year. But they're, 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 they're following those sorts of initiatives. So they really want to, you know, attract additional, they want more foreign investment. And they're, this, this minister in particular is certainly committed to expanding the mining sector. He wants that sector to grow. And there's a lot of potential in Georgia. So it, I, I think it's going to go very, very well. Very importantly, I understand it's a r rugby mad nation. They really are. There's a, there's a World Cup coming up next year, I think, isn't there? Yes. And you will be supporting, just <laughs> asking. <laughs> well, I find myself in a difficult position there because I've got, I, 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 um, yeah, I, I hail from Scotland and the UK and Portugal and now I'm working in Georgia. So now you're going to have to be I'm diplomatic. I'm going to be torn. <laughs> <laughs> well, we wish you the best of luck with Thank that. Thank you very much. Excellent. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Mike Struthers, the chief executive of Georgian Mining. If I look at my phone, as I say, they had the RNS out yesterday about that meeting they had with the minister. Their shares were bouncing yesterday. And as I say, according to my telephone, they've come off a low for the year of about sixpence and they're trading about ninepence, so uh, up 50% in a few days. As the Americans say, I'll let you do the math. Uh, I'm afraid that's all we've got time for. Uh, from me, Charlie Gibson, on The Mining Show, brought to you by Blytheway on Core London. We'll be back in a week with more such opportunities. And until then, we wish you a very capital day.